guys. Thanks for tuning in for this one. I am heading down to the dam. We're going to do some more dam fishing. This time is going to be a little different because we're going to be fishing at night. Um, I brought a couple skipjack with me, but we might be able to get some bait in the casting net while I'm down there. I feel like the flatheads and your blue cats and your channels and a lot of that's going to spawn. Well, I know they spawn in different, different temperatures, but I feel like the flatheads should be coming off. I would say the females have already came off the nest and the males are kind of guarding it at this point. And that's what I'm hoping anyway. The blue cats, uh, big iffy, big if there, but uh, down here at the dam, the water's pretty high. Um, keeps it a little bit cooler. So, I mean, the water's always a little deep there. It's dug out pretty well. So it's a little cooler, more of a current. So it'll just kind of attract them fish there even during spawn because the fish might not be spawning in that area. So uh, that's what we're kind of hoping for. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to start throwing on some uh, small fillets here from the skipjack. I caught a little moon eye when I just got down here. People all around me are catching small channel cats, so that's a, a good sign that there's some catfish in here that's not on spawn. We'll take any kind of catfish right now at this point. I don't typically fish with the surf rods, but uh, DJ's been smoking me down here, catching a bunch of fish, and I've uh, been left skunked a couple times. So I thought to bring out the big rods. I've got some reflection tape on too. Whenever it gets dark, we'll be able to shine them up a little bit, hopefully with the light. If I don't get any bites after a little while on the skipjack, I'll just skip to using the moon eye. Hoping to see one of these rods just double over the wall here. That one's got a bait runner on it. Both of them are uh, pin fierce. Uh, one's a pin fierce three and one's a pin fierce two. 11 foot surf rod, well, 10 foot, 11 foot surf rods, 25 pound big game, and probably like 300 yards of it. The drag set pretty low on both. Just a waiting game now. Caught a moon eye a little bit ago as soon as I got down here, very first cast. I haven't been able to catch one since though. He got him fresh in the bucket just in case we need to use him. Little old blue cat. The bait was sitting out there for a while, didn't think I had any on it, but uh, he was on there. Turn him back. He came on that old skipjack that I thought for certain was gone after I done broke my other line by slinging it out there. There's just something about places like this that's so awesome and unique. They're so unpredictable because just the temperature and stuff and all these other places you fish during the year and you never catch anything you just come to a spot as common as this and fish are just there i don't know if it's the water temperature the depth what it is but whatever it is i like it
thought he was a lot bigger than that, man. He ate yeah. it hard. There we go, guys. Right there, another one real quick. Uh, he ate a hard hook right in the bottom of the mouth. He took it down. I thought he was a lot bigger than that. We're going to cut up a piece of moon eye and give that a try. This is a little bigger channel cat, probably about four or five pounds anyway. Pretty decent fish. They are biting hard right now too. Ugh. That thing hit hard. I thought it was definitely a lot bigger than what it was. This current down here, well, there's not so much of one, but you can definitely uh, tell there's a little bit of current. They're out there pulling in it and they feel a lot bigger. They're hitting a lot harder too. Surprised catfish bites as good as miserably hot as it's been today. We had some kind of a warning today for a, some kind of orange warning is what they called it, like weird air or something. Meeting a bunch of daggone bugs. But uh, yeah, it's cooled down pretty good so far. The low tonight's 80, but still it feels pretty good out. I'm gonna have to back away from this camera. I'm eating so many daggone bugs. Got a little channel cat right there. This sucker just took off. Hopefully we can see it.
All right, guys, I got him up here. Not a pig, but a, another boy cat. So I ain't going to show you the channel cat. We'll just get him off there and toss him back. But maybe a four or five pound blue. These guys just look so good. Look at the, look at the muscle in their back. And they can definitely fight you, take you for a ride out here. All right, I'm down to my last two pieces of bait. I got two skipjack head. Caught a lot of fish, missed a lot of fish. That's what happens, and there ain't no bait run. Right there is what's gonna be on both poles. Well, that was my last piece of bait right there, so uh, look at that. That's, that was the head of a skipjack. That's the thing that's gonna do it for me tonight. I'm completely out of bait. I caught some fish, finally. Catfish, anyway. And uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, please uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.